Chicken, cows, and pigs, and so on, are tortured and butchered every single day. Yet why do we still meet knowing this information? It has been proven as a scientific fact that meat is extremely unhealthy for you. It is an act that promotes severe and unnecessary cruelty of animals. And the production of meat is an unnecessary commodity that harms our environment and depletes our economy. It has been proven that to be vegetarian is better for your health, your fellow animal, and our severely neglected environment. First of all, let's start at the core of the problem in, rel in relation to our health. According to chooseveg.com, the body was never meant to consume meat. The body of a carnivore has, an extremely, has a relatively long intestinal tract. This is so that when the carnivore is eating the meat, as it, pass, it, it will pass through the intestinal tract quickly so that it could be defecated and it does not hold the meat in the body of the carnivore, letting it rot and release all these tech toxins that will harm the, um, the body of the animal. The human, for example, an example though, has a relatively long intestinal tract. As your body consumes the meat, it passes through your intestinal tract extremely slow, and it takes days for it to be digested. Can you just imagine the detriment to your health that occurs? when you have meat in your intestinal tract rotting away. And then besides this, the animals that um, are being butchered every day are always, are usually dying in situations that are extremely, that are high in stress and bad for the animals. And this causes the meat to be even more, um, for it to be stressed out. And also the chemicals that are put into the bodies of the animals are being put into your body as well. The body of a carnivore, the moment, from the moment the time an animal dies, especially if it dies from a high stress situation, the flesh starts to decompose and break down, releasing these deadly toxins. Can you, um, now another signature trait of a herbivore that the human body carries lies in their teeth. According to, uh, according to ChooseVeg.com, the teeth of a carnivore are relatively sharp and pointy. This is meant so that it could aid the animal in ripping up the meat and chewing the meat and ingesting the meat. Um, but when you look at the teeth of a human <coughs> being, you, could see, you, you will see that our teeth are relatively square and flat. This is meant for uh, the human body to ingest plants because the flatness of the teeth grinds up plants better. Just take a look at your dog or cat who are the descendants of wild felines such as tigers and lions. Those teeth are pretty huge and pointy. And teeth are... Um, so then we wonder why uh, we the body um, manifests things like cancer in the stomach and or the intestines or the colon or why does the body manifest ulcers or gallstone bladders mm -hmm. these are all signs of the detriment of the consumption of meat and the toxins it, it releases to our poor bodies as it, it attempts to digest it why do our teeth erode and develop cavities or become loose or fall off when we get older the body just was not meant to eat meat and now let's look at another um, key point in why we, you should be a vegetarian. The cruelty of animals that is experienced in the meat market is unparalleled by no other. Chickens, for example, are grown to be mutated so that they have no, they practically do not, don't have a head or, or a red comb, which is the signature trait of a male chicken. Um, if, as quoted by, by chooseveg.com, if you were a chicken, by the time you were age two, you would weigh 364 pounds. Now, what kind of life do you think that is for an animal? I know that we as human beings, we have the ability to think and comprehend and 
create this society that we live in, but these animals that are innocent and don't have a choice or a say in things, why do they get to, why, why do they have to suffer at our expense? Cows, for example, they are thrown the in the areas that they are um, butchered they, and they are they are thrown into areas that are dirty, um, full of full of um, excrement. Um, they have no room to move around. They are prodded. They are they are um, harassed. Uh, just um, also. Uh, other other animals um, like turkeys, basically, uh, um, poultry in general is the animal that suffers the the most in the meat market. So, as you could see, um, if you don't have a heart, or at least um, <coughs> give a thought to these animals then um, Lord knows what else we're capable of if we can't have a, a heart to um, another another uh, important point and um, being a vegetarian um, is that it would greatly improve our economy and help keep the environment clean uh, every day, um, the meat market uses millions, millions of dollars in using water, uh, our resources such as water, using grain to feed the animals, and um, um, <coughs> using grains to feed the animals, and... And, and wastes a lot of our resources. If, um, if we were able to remove um, some of the detriment that the meat market has caused to our environment, the pollution that it has caused, then perhaps uh, we could improve the world just a bit more, save ourselves some money, and... Um, and help, help us feel better about the way that we treat our animals. Let me just double check. Eduardo, you out there? And I just didn't see you? No. Okay. All right. 